Hello again, fellow audiophiles. I am Wave Theory, back to talk about more headphone things. And if you like what I have been doing with this still rather young channel of doing reviews of audio gear, please like and subscribe to my channel and support me moving forward so that I can continue to do this. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is a little bit different. Okay, I want to talk about Lawton mods for headphones that are based on Fostex's excellent biodynamic driver um, tech. Okay, so what we're talking about here are lods or are <laughs> lods are mods that you can make to the Fostex TH900 series, the Foz, the Masterop Fostex TH or TRXOO series. Um, the Emu Teak series, the, um, uh, there's another one in there, the Denons, okay, there are Denon headphones that are also based on, um, Fostex biodynamic drivers that, uh, you can do a lot in mod for too. And so I just, there's not a ton of lot in content on YouTube. I just looked that up before I sat down to shoot this video and not a ton out there. So I just want to talk a little bit about my experience with Lawton Mods, you know, talk about what Lawton Mods are and why you might be interested in checking them out. So let's dive into that a little bit. So Lawton Audio is run by a guy named Mark Lawton, okay? Not surprising that's a namesake there. When I talked to Mark via email when I was interested in doing a Lawton Mod, I found him to be pretty prompt in his responses. He's a very friendly, very knowledgeable guy. I was able to say, hey, I like to listen to this kind of music and I appreciate these kinds of aspects of sound. And he got me pointed in the right direction in terms of which of his chamber types and all of that would be a good fit for me. So my journey into the Lawton mods then started when I initially bought a set of used Mastrop Fostex THXOO uh, Purple Heart headphones, okay? And I liked those. Like, if you're familiar with those XOO series, like, they're all a little bit V-shaped in their signature. They have really good bass and all that. Um, they can be a little hot in the treble, a little bit recessed in the mid-range, and, and the Purple Heart version is the most of those things, okay? Now, um, you may notice that I said THXOO, and those have an attached cable. I did my own detached cable mod for that, and I used two and a half millimeter connectors for that, so that's why mine looks a little bit different, but I put significant work into making that happen. And so that used set that I got had a little bit of cup damage too, so I, I got a good deal on it. It didn't have seem to affect the sound, but it seemed like they were going to fall apart pretty quick. So I, I looked into ways that I could replace the cups, and Lawton Mods came up. And you go to Mark's website, and at least I, you know, it wasn't struck by just this amazing quality website. It's kind of, it seems rather, I mean, it's simple, it's to the point. It's professional, but it, it's not flashy. It's not attention getting or anything like that. And so don't let that put you off. Like the experience you get working with Mark and then doing this kind of mod is really cool, I think, and, and really worth it. Okay, so again, don't expect this to be a review of Lawton headphones, Lawton modded headphones generally, because if you're on his website, you will see there are all kinds of different wood types that fit into different categories in terms of how they affect the sound. So it's really difficult to give you one set. This is what you will can expect. Um, uh, you know, these sonic attributes are going to change. Like your mileage is going to vary based on the decisions you make, based on your talking to Mark and seeing what kind of uh, sound you're going after. Okay. So Things that you need to pick from in there are there are a few different stages and levels of Lawton mod. Like one of them is just a what he calls a driver side mod, where you get some damping material that are adhesive strips that you can put on the back of the driver. And what that did to my ear was it just generally tightened up the sound, it brought in a little bit more detail, a little bit more general refinement, just made it overall just tighter and a little bit more accurate. And it's um, and it's reproduction. Okay, then um, you can put Lawton pads on there, and for about seventy dollars, okay, he makes his own pad design too that fits on these Fostex headphones. And then, if you want, 
they can be expensive. You can select what kind of wooden chamber you want to put on those. So um, in my conversation with Mark, he recommended that I go with the Bolivian Purple Heart, and I did, and I'll hold it up to the camera here. Like, I mean, isn't that just gorgeous? Just look at the attention to detail there, where the name Lawton is there parallel to the wood grain and, and that sort of thing. And like, as I move it around, you can see just the, the gloss and the reflection, you know, it's just really, really well done, really good craftsmanship, lots of attention to detail. Now, what I noticed, what I noticed sonically with these cups anyway, is that just the already prodigious sub bass of the, the XOO Purple Heart came out even more with these, right? Like it just, like even more sub bass quantity, more rumble, more slam, but also just more accuracy in there. Like just a tighter, punchier sound, uh, better pitch definition and all that in the low end. Okay. Now with the XOO and the Lawton pads, I thought the treble was a little bit too sharp, but this is still a Fostex based um, headphone. And so you can do pad rolling. Like you can get ZMF pads to put on here. You can get Dakoni pads, any number of things to change the sound signature quite a bit. So that was my introduction to Lawton mods. And then I had the opportunity to, to uh, change my XOO and swap it out for a, a TH900 thing. And so I did that, did, you know, say, kept same modification here for the wiring. And then, you know, so now I have a TH900 with the Lawton cups on it. And with the, I went back to Lawton pads because the Lawton mods were initially designed to work best with the TH900 series, okay? But then any of those other Fostex, they will work for. It just might take a little bit, you know, different uh, tuning with different pads, um, using attenuation rings or not using attenuation rings, maybe a little bit more damping material in there, just depending on what your tastes are. And then this right here is not a, a Lawton thing. This is a ZMF pilot pad, all that. But... All in all, again, exactly how it improves the sound for you is going to depend on the wood type that you go with, which is going to also depend on like what your music tastes are and what your sound preferences are. However, I do think that the Lawton Chambers, beyond being just absolutely gorgeous, really do bring a pretty substantial improvement to the sound. Okay, and... Um, yeah, if you have a Fostex biodynamic driver headphone that will fit these, his chambers, like definitely start a conversation with Mark and say, yeah, here are my goals. What can I do to, uh, you know, what what can I add on there to to make this better? And he will he will get you hooked up with the with the right stuff. So, I mean, again. Beautiful craftsmanship. There is a substantial improvement in sound quality, although I cannot say exactly what that will be for you. Okay, um, but the Lawton experience was really good. I keep these around still. Like this particular set, just absolutely killer bass. Okay, huge slam, lots of sub bass, lots of rumble, and yet it's still tight and controlled. It does not really bleed into the mids at all. All right, and so I just I keep these around for fun. Um, like they are great for EDM. They are great for like the, the, the little bit of contemporary pop that is kind of more like dance music anymore that I listen to. Sounds really good on this. Um, the band Royal Blood, like I think they record their music almost with this in mind. It just sounds really great, um, on here. So working with Mark was great. Doing the mod was easy. The improvement in, in sound is quite large. Again, I can't describe it exactly because it's going to be whatever works for you, but I, I found Mark really helpful on that. So uh, yeah, if you have one of those TH900s um, or any of those Fostex Biodyna based ones and you're like, hey, how can I have more of what makes this good? Um, yeah, reach out to Mark and look into that. Really, really recommend the experience and really recommend the results. So once again, I am Wave Theory. Those are some basic thoughts on doing Lawton mods for Fostex Biodynamic Driver based headphones. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I am Wave Theory. Enjoy the music.